Howdy guys. So, week number seven. Can you believe it's been nine weeks since we were in school? Well, it's eight weeks and it's the ninth week uh, since we were actually together in a classroom. So this is um, anyway week seven, lesson number, lesson number one. We're going to polish off this topic between Monday and um, lesson two and then we go on and start something new. Hopefully, if we're comfortable with algebra, um, um, later on in the week as well. Okay, so today we're going to um, correct the homework and we're going to um, we're going to have a look at the revision exercise. And the revision exercise gives us a chance to go back over all the different types of algebra that we've come across so far. Um, and then when we're finished, when we're finished that, we'll have our second class of the week will be a live one, and we'll have a chance then to go to, to do out examples from all the different parts of algebra. So if you're having trouble. Um, the second class of the week will really help you, I would, I, um, I would imagine. Okay, let's go back to the one note. So, one note is here. And the highlighted question there is, I'm after deleting the homework, what I told you to do, but there's the highlighted ones here. It was one, two, seven and nine, was it? One, two, seven and nine. And I put the solutions over here as well for, 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 for anyone who wants to go through them in detail after I've done them. So there, there's the solutions to one, two, seven and nine over on the right hand side. But we'll go through them together as well. Um, so if we start with um, question 1A, if X is a number, so X is some number, we don't know what number that is, write an expression for each of the following. The number, which is X, plus two. So the number is X. Plus two. Go back to the number again. The number is x minus 10. Five added to the number. So, well, here's the number. Five added to it. There it is. Five added to the number. Two subtracted from the number. So, two taken away from the number is going to be x minus two. The number subtracted from 11. Okay, so we're taking the number away from 11. So we have 11, take away the number. Check your expressions are correct by letting x is equal to two. Okay, right, so x is equal to two. So can we check if we're, if we're gonna be correct, right. So this one here, if, we, if, we, if everywhere we see an x, oops, so here's an x, here's an x, here's an x, here's an x, and, and nope. Oh, gee. Um, seven, 11 minus x. So, and here's an x. Minus x, be careful. Okay. So let's, everywhere we see an x, let's stick in a 2. So for our first one there, instead of having x plus 2, it's going to become 2 plus 2, which is going to be equal to 4. Here we have x minus 10. So that's going to become 2 minus 10, which is equal to minus Eight. Okay, after that, we're going to have x plus 5, so it's going to be 2 plus 5, which is equal to 7. And 2 subtracted from the, the number is going to be 2 minus 2, so I'm putting in 2 for x, which is going to be equal to 0. And finally, 11 minus x, that's going to be 11 minus 2, which is going to be equal to 9. Okay, and again, remember, the solutions are over here if you want to take um, a look at them. So 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 minus 8 is and, and 0 and, and, and 9, and we have those done there as well. 4 minus 8 is 7, 4, 8, 7, 0. And nine, very good. Okay, right. So you have it done out there by me, and you have it done the solutions out on the right side. Okay, number two. This time they're saying, right, if y is a number, write an expression. Okay, so fair enough. So two times the number. So whatever whatever y is, so it's just going to be two times y. Two times the number. Three times the number is just going to be three times y. 4 times the number, and then add 5. Okay, so 4 times the number, there it is, 4y, and then add 5. Add 5. So see the way I'm putting the words into algebra. The number squared, 
So we don't know what the number is. Y squared. Half the number. So that's just going to be half of y, or 0.5y if you want, or y over 2. 5 times the number squared. Okay, so I want 5 times the number squared. Check your expressions by letting y is equal to 4. So we're gonna, as, as opposed to putting y in, we're now going to let y is equal to 4. So I'm going to do 2 times 4, which is going to be equal to 8. So 2y changes to 2 times 4. 3y is going to be 3 times 4, which is equal to 12. 4y plus 5 is going to be 4 times 4 plus 5, which is going to be equal to, the well, 4 4s are 16, plus 5 is 21. y squared is going to be 4 squared, which is equal to 16. A half of y, so that's going to be a half of 4, which is going to be equal to 2. I'll just put squares around the answers. And 5 times the number squared. So 5, 5 times the number 4 squared. So 4 squared is equal to 16. And 16 fives, 79, I think, is the answer. Okay. Moving on then to question number seven over here. Okay. Michelle is Y years old. I'm not telling us how old Michelle is. She's Y years old. Write down an expression in Y for the following. Okay. So how old is Michelle's age now? Well, she's Y years old now. Um, how old is she going to be? Well, she's just going to be Y, isn't she? Michelle's, Michelle's age in five years time. Well, here's how old she is now. Add five years to that, you y plus five. In seven years time, it's gonna be y plus seven. How old was she six years ago? Well, here's how old she is now. Take away six from it. And three times Michelle's age. So well, her age is y, three times y, three y. Okay, you can you take all the answers on the, on, on, the, on the side. Now, on the last question I asked you to do is this one here. Write out an expression for the perimeter for each of the following rectangles. Okay, now this is a really, um, um, really tricky one. So this is basically what they're saying is here, is that is two times the length plus two times the width. So if you have any rectangle, right? So I'm gonna draw, draw a rectangle like that. And I'm telling you, if I tell you that this is, oh, see, this is your length, this is your length, this is your width, and this is your width. So if I was saying you, if the length was six centimeters, the length of this one was six centimeters, and the width was, I don't know, four centimeters, and the width here was four centimeters, the perimeter, if I wanted to find the perimeter, it would be six plus four plus six plus four. So you add up width, length, width, and length, and that would give me my perimeter, which would be 20 centimeters. So all the way around the outside. And that's grand, right? We can find the perimeter. You would have done that in, in, in primary school, except when they start messing around with us and they start saying, right, instead of giving us sixes and fours, they give us things like x's and y's. Okay, so let's try and work that out. And what's, what we have to do is uh, look at the perimeter. Okay, for all of these A, B, C, and D. I'm just gonna make that a bit smaller so I can do A, B, C, and D. So A, B, C, and D, like so. For question nine. So for A, the length is X and the width is five. So remember what we're gonna do, you add the length, the width, the length, and the width, so all the way around the outside. So for our first one, well, our length is going to be X, our width is going to be five, add it up, there's two. You know if one length is x, the other length is x as well. So the, if, if the length here is six, the other length on the far side is gonna be six as well. So we're just do, uh, doubling them up. x plus five plus x plus five. And what that works out as then, add up the x's, and add up the fives, and our answer is going to be 
2x plus 10. Like that. Okay. For part B then, our length is y and our width is 12. Our length is y and our width is 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, right, um, well, one, there's our length and our width and our length and our width. And that answers. We add, our, add up our y's. We have two y's and our width. Nope, I've done that wrong, haven't I? Look, B, the width is 12, not 5. I was taking the part from part A again. Apologies. Get rid of the 5's. Stick in 12's. So it's still 2y plus 24. For C, our length is 7 and our width is B. So it's exactly the same again. 7 plus B plus 7 plus B. So we end up with 2B plus 14. 7 and 7 is 14. And for D, D now they've given us no numbers at all. They're saying the length is x and the width is x. Okay. So right, let's write it down. Same, same, same process though. x length plus width is x plus the length is x plus the width is x. So we add up. They're all the same. So we only have one thing to add. x plus x plus x plus x is 4x. So remember, not x squared or x to the power of 4 because it's adding. If that was x multiplied by x multiplied by x multiplied by x, then the answer would be x to the power of 4, which is 4x's. Add them up. And that's the end of the homework. Okay, now, so that, and, and to be honest with you, that's the end of the topic. That's um, algebra, our first algebra um, topic, done and dusted. But as I said now, and I'm, I'm gonna show you down here. Um, so lesson two is open mic. So on, um, in, in our second lesson of the week, it'll be live. Um, I'll have a blank whiteboard here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a load of the algebra questions. And what I want from you, is have a flick through the have a flick through the chapter have a flick through this one note page there's loads and loads of different types of examples there find the ones that you find tricky jot a few of them down and you can type them into the chat box and we and, and i will do them out here for you um live so don't miss this one don't miss this live lesson which is your lesson two of the week so any ones you're finding tricky take note of them and we will spend an hour doing them out nice and slowly we can go from these kind of wordy ones, back to the um, basic ones of simplifying, back to multiplying, looking at squares, the whole lot um, in the hour um, in lesson number two. Okay, because I want to give people a chance to get a handle on this before we get into mo even more trickier stuff. But the basics, once you have the basics, um, it's easier after that. Now, so in preparation for that, and this revision exercise is, is a great way to figure out which bits you find tricky. So. This is what I want you to do for the rest of today's class, the remaining 35 minutes or so. I want you to do, and it's, it's pasted in there for you, so your homework for today's class, and I'd like you to spend um, the rest of the class plus an extra half an hour before lesson number two. I want you to do questions one, two, four, six, and eight. Now, loads of you will fly through those in about 15 minutes. If you, and th those are the ones I want done, and I want uploaded to the homework section of your OneNote so I can check. If you're fine through it, don't do them in 15 minutes and move on. If, you're, if you have them done in no time, do them all. Do all of them, okay? It will not hurt you um, to practice this. The more, the more you do, the more fluent you get it, like learning a language, as we said before. So I'm going to get you to do a couple um, of these. Um, for example, question one is, the, remember we started off with subbing in. So x is equal to 5. What is 2x plus 7? So you're subbing in. Everywhere you see an x, you put in a 5. Number two then goes into simplifying. Number four is all about multiplying by the brackets. So you remember that from before. Multiply the first number by the first one, then by the second one. Then multiply the two by the first one, and then by the second one. And then we go on. Question number six is bringing in squares. So bringing in um, a by a squared, a by a squared, that kind of thing. So you, But it's the same procedure over and over again. And then finally going into question eight, which is um, the multiplying the two brackets. So remember that, you multiply the a by the a, then the a by the two, then the 10 by the a, and the 10 by the two. Four answers and simplify. So this is gonna, um, by doing these um, for the rest of this class and for homework, this will kind of show you which ones am I having trouble with and jot them down 
And if it, so if you say to me, I want you to do a revision exercise question two A part one, and I'll say right, and I'll open the I'll open the board and say right, we're starting on two A part one. Then someone might say, oh, actually, I, I did them all and I couldn't do 5C part 3. And I'll say, right, next we're doing 5C part 3. <clears throat> That's all we're going to do in our second class of the week is go through these and figure out where people are having the problems. Okay, so those are the ones you have to do. 1, 2, 4, 6 and 8. Um, if, not, if you're flying through them, do them all. The more practice, the better you're going to get at this. Um, and I will chat to you all, um, all later in the week. Mind yourselves. Um, take care. Don't work too hard, but um, keep battling away at this. I promise it gets easier and you'll wonder how you ever had problems with it when you're on much harder maths. And this, is the, this seems really easy and in the past. Okay, talk to you later on in the week. Bye-bye.